A teenage superstar. A fight for the ages. A moment of mixed martial arts history. This women's world title battle is one of the greatest moments from the first decade of one championship. Angela Lee always looked destined for great things. From the moment Unstoppable stepped in the circle as an 18-year-old, she showed strength and skill beyond her years. The result was a submission finish in her pro debut inside two minutes. But no one could have predicted how far she would climb and how fast. It looks deep. Oh, she's tapped out. It's over. Lee built on her maiden victory with four more wins by way of stoppage. Her most memorable moment came when she pulled off a twister against Natalie Gonzalez Hills. Oh, oh she tapped out. Wow, what a finish. It was a finish so rare that it caught the attention of martial arts media across the globe. Lee was a worldwide sensation overnight. That is the first twister in one championship history. With five wins and a 100% finishing rate, Unstoppable had lived up to her nickname. Despite her age, she earned a spot in the inaugural One Atomweight World Title match in May 2016. A win would make her the sport's youngest ever world champion, but victory would not come easily. Her opponent was Mei Yamaguchi, a pioneer, a veteran, and a champion who had faced some of the best female fighters in history. It was by far the toughest test of Lee's young career, but it made for the fight of the year. Angela Lee has finished all of her opponents in double fast time and May Yamaguchi has never been finished. So somebody's always about to go. Low center of gravity Yamaguchi has. You can see she's strong. Nice little knee landed in there. Head kick, caught the kick, but it did connect halfway. She wasn't quite as crisp with that kick as she needed to be. Angela Lee jumps guard and reverses well into her. mount. That was beautiful. Bounds are going nuts here in Singapore. They knew exactly what they saw there. Possible guillotine here. She's got the arm under the neck, but see how she keeps her head real high? She's got to keep that up there. It's a real dangerous position to be in. Showed good strength to get back on her feet, but straight into the guillotine. But as you say, she's up nice and high. That prevents the leverage, the torque Angela needs to really use this and convert it into a finishing move. Yamaguchi has the presence of mind to dig in a right hand to the body and work something of her own. She's in a dangerous position right here. She's got the arm outside. You know, she's so it's very deep right here. She's got to do the right thing. She's got to put her head down. This is a bad position. She's got the body triangle. This is deep, Steve. The body triangles just stopping her from moving. Angela looks like she's really putting a lot into it. You know, she's trying to adjust. Good adjustment there by May. How she just stepped over that leg. Now she's out of the danger zone. And digging you know. in the punches to the side of the body. How tired will Angela Lee be now, having held that for close to a minute? Angela Lee slips out. Uh, sorry, May Yamaguchi slips out, lands a punch. There's now it's about how tired Angela might be. Armbar possibility. Yeah, but she knows what she's doing. She immediately got that arm away from the crotch. The elbow came up. Heel to the face. We're in the final five seconds. This round has just raced by. You know, May is a third degree black belt. Big right hand from Yamaguchi. Nice came swinging in. Nice little outside trip to end up on the bottom as May is the one that reverses this <laughs> one. that work? You're thinking about, yeah, see how she immediately starts throwing up her legs. She's, um, she's Now she's starting to think, going for arm bars, going for triangles, setting up sweeps. There it is. Just like that, she threw the leg over the head. Now there's a possible arm bar there. It's an awkward position. The arm is bent, so... The crowd are really, really into this, aren't oh. they? The arm bar's still very much there. Yes, look at that. Look at that. She just toughs it out, oh, pulls she it out. Look troubled at all, it's high she? though. Now she's in there. She's got tremendous strength though. 
This, See, doesn't, this doesn't look up, too much of a problem for her. When you're up in the air like that, you can't really crank your hips. You can't really pull them into position. But there's that sweep that we were talking about earlier tonight where you grab the feet and pull them down to the ground. Mays back up and pops right back up into the clinch. In Mays' decision losses, she's been out grappled. And, and, like, and, and Angela is giving up these like these positions, you know, she's ending up possible. There's a there's a choke. There's a there's a choke of some sort, a possible guillotine. Good round for Yamaguchi. Oh, oh what a big punch! Oh my. Angela Lee in huge trouble from that overhand right that we signaled before the fight started. That's her big, big weapon, and Angela Lee has just tasted it. She has the presence of mind, though, to hold her hands around Yamaguchi's neck and pull her in, closing that distance. What a shot by Yamaguchi. And immediately, Angela clinches it, keeps her wits about her, and goes for the, you know, the tight guard to regain some composure. Now Yamaguchi is past her guard, and she is in side control. This is a bad position. Angela's still got to be rocked from that huge shot. She easily steps over in the mouth. Round and pound now. A bucking Bronco. Angela Lee tries to catapult her off, but it's a high, high position. The hammer blows come down. But Angela struggles. Armbar, Arm that's it. It's, oh, oh, what it's a transition. Deep. She's got to make sure she transitions. She can't let that thumb go up. If the thumb starts to go up, it's deep. Oh, she's got to fight it. She's got to roll. Steve, that's deep. That's a deep arm bar. Angela seems okay. Her arm is bending the wrong way, Steve. She's not but tapping. But she toughs it out. Oh, my. The strength. This crowd is going crazy. The resolve from this woman. She's got out of it. Oh, she, as she transitions into the back. Rear naked choke, possibly, but May looks okay. She's giving up the mount, though. What a round wow. this is. Have you seen a minute and a half like this ever before in your life? Steve, to keep that composure, to keep that control, to keep the will alive, she goes dropped by a big shot. Potential arm bar almost snapped her arm in two, and now she's in top. Back and forth. Thrown off. But she's back on top. That means she is proving she has a heart of a champion. Oh, it's a deep arm bar Another again. Another arm bar attempt. Don't roll over on your back. She's got to stay up. Oh, see, now she's see how the thumb's down. The thumb's down. She's out of trouble, but she's giving up top position. Here come the punches. Angela will look to pull her in close again to negate the value of those punches. Oh, Matt Hume, arrange a rematch now, please. May is ending up on top. Knee bar. Drops into the knee bar. This is a bad position. Oh, it's okay. She's out. Did a bear. That's, a, that's the exactly thing to do. You want to negate that bar. Go belly over. Roll onto the side. Look at this. These, look, these transitions are ridiculous, Steve. Now she's possibly attacking the leg again. She's trying to dive under to roll out. Angela's on top. It's that Darce choke. She's rolling. There's the roll. Now she's got to hook the leg. So she's got to take those legs and hook it. And it'll lock in the choke. It's broken, and she fights out of it again. Tremendous resolve. What guts a, these women have, but also what technique. You know, she's rolling with it. Yamaguchi's going to do the right thing, interlaces the legs. You know, she's got to turn. She's got to try to get out of that. It looks like she's out of danger. There's a possible heel hook where you kind of just interlace the, like the hook of your arm inside the ankle and you can kind of crank on the knee ligaments here. This is a very dangerous game she that they're playing right here. She impervious to leg locks and arm bars though, Mei Yamaguchi. What a contest this arm is. Arm triangle possibly here. You know, she's answering the phone, how she kind of puts her hand up by the, you know, this is, this is it. This is an arm triangle. She's scooting around, trying to get the best position she can to make it as tight as possible. I don't see Yamaguchi tapping ever. Oh, she comes back See, with that, punches. She's not tapping, you know, That's those are punches. That's what she's saying, I'm still alive, ref, I'm still here. You know, usually the, some of the fighters give us a thumbs up, yeah. but yep, she's no, fine. Don't you dare call it on my behalf, I'm still in this. And, and she, she overpowers her to end up oh. on top. Angela could take the back here, but her arm's kind of in a precarious, sort of odd position. That's all she's got to do is push that arm down, and there it oh, is. Oh, now she switched it, Beautiful. and that's a much better position for her. She changed legs, saw the opening, and transitioned double she, quick time. She's hooking that leg. Now she's coming over onto the side. That's a deep triangle, Steve. Yamaguchi's throat has taken so much punishment and talk in this contest. 
Will Angela Lee capture the Women's World Championship and be the first person to stop Mei Yamaguchi here with that triangle? But she's kind of out. It's, it's. I don't know how deep that is. She that just is such seems, a... She just seems to generate enough space to just survive, doesn't she, in these locks? That's also another thing about being compact like she is. Yeah. Look at she oh, fights out. tremendous effort. She's done it to the applause of everybody here oh, at side. Takedown ends up on top. Left hand from Yamaguchi, and I think she's hurt. The kick from Angela, not quite high enough. Good like left hand from Angela as May Yamaguchi came in, and down they go. The Ooh, takedown. Up on top. It's been, a, it's been a scramble. That's been the story of this entire fight, is the scrambling. Angela Lee showing her youth and probably superior cardio. Oh, there's the arm triangle again. You know, she's doing the right thing by pushing it away. She's got 38 seconds to become the first person to finish Yamaguchi. It's there. She's still attempting the submissions and going after it. It's a relentless assault as we enter the final 20 seconds of this contest. That's a that's an arm triangle right there, Steve. You can see the lips kind of going blue a little bit on Yamaguchi, but I think she's okay. She's just so tough. The one women's atomweight world champion, Angela Twister Sister Lee.